Let's go to the Packers now, Scotty, because for the first time yesterday, it seems like Aaron Rodgers finally came to the realization he don't got Devontae Adams anymore. Uh, he's got a lot of young wide receivers who have not done anything in this league yet, and Aaron clearly frustrated by the inconsistency of some of said wide receivers. Here he is. Uh, you know, I didn't think we ran the ball very well, especially outside zone. Uh, thought we threw it pretty, pretty good, had some opportunities. A lot of mental errors, a lot of pre-snap penalties. So kind of in the theme of camp, simple, simple plays, we're messing up. So it's good to do it against another team. Um, I like the energy from the first first unit, but a lot of mental mistakes. Aaron, at what point does that become a concern that it might carry over to the start? No, I mean, it's good. It's good we do it in practice. So uh, it's unfortunately some of the same guys. That That's, you know, repeat mistakes are a problem. So we just got to clean those things up a little bit. The young guys, you know, they got to, especially young receivers, we got to be way more consistent. You know, a lot of, a lot of drops, a lot of, uh, you know, bad route decisions, run the wrong route. So we gotta, we gotta get better in that area. But I felt like the line, for the most part, held up pretty good, which was, which was good to see. So they're reporting now uh, that he met with a lot of those young receivers uh, today uh, to talk about uh, the problems. Here's the deal. In my view, you cannot lose a guy like Devontae Adams or Tyree Kill and not have blood on the floor. I am telling you, both of these teams, they talk big about, like Andy Reid said the other day, this provides the perfect opportunity to give us more juice on offense. I'm like, well, well, what? What? You lose Tyree Kill, you give him up, and you're going to have more juice on offense? You're high. Secondly, you do not lose Devontae Adams without having to clean off the knife and, and get some bleach out. I mean, there's blood all over the carpet, all over the room, splatter on the walls. They will never replace him in Green Bay. Now, if there is not fallout in Kansas City and Green Bay for those two guys leaving, I will literally keel over. Honestly, you've already heard me say over and over, I am not buying them like everybody else. It, it is so funny to me how... You can watch them get their ass beat in a snowstorm at Lambeau Field in the playoffs by a team from California, for Christ's sakes, freezing their ass off, kicking their ass. And then you're going to put them in the Super Bowl the next year just because Aaron Rodgers is finally getting along with Gutenkoos and he got his way and he lost Devontae Adams and you people are crowning them again, just putting them right in the Super Bowl. This guy won 12 years ago and everyone knobs him like he was Brad Pitt. It is unbelievable to me how everyone just puts this guy in a Super Bowl every year. There's a little thing called he never plays in it anymore, ever. There's new blood coming. Trust me, it's coming this year. Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers in every Super Bowl. That's all they ever talk about. This I mean, we might as well just stop talking about the NFL if all you're going to do is crown these two every single effing year.